What is going down in Groovetown Internet? This is Sam Marsden and I'm in a desert. Why am I in a desert? Well, look at the title and you'll get some sort of idea. I'm showcasing a massive build I've done. Massive desert themed build. You could call this Egyptian or Arabian, whatever you want to call it. It's, uh, it's pretty big. So uh, I think I'll probably start off down this area and just work my way over that way gradually. Yeah, have a over there where everything else is. So you got some little roads with the walls and a little cannon along it. It's a really simple design that I, qu I quite like. I actually get to see all of it later when I start showing off one of the ships I've built in here. So yeah, it's simple design. You got the walls. A little thing I've liked to do with this, or um, I like to do with this I should say, get proper grammar is to just to break up the um, sort of one block look is to just to put these in and it looks it looks nice come over here we've got a couple of farms some basic crops a couple of pigs some like little kind of communal houses like this is really lower class kind of stuff like maybe these guys work on the farms this is uh, supposed to be like a bit of a baker's oh I should probably point out that most of these buildings are unfurnished because when you see the size of this thing, are you mad? And still be doing it. See, there's uh, an oven, place to store breads, and there's a there's a queue out here, a queue. <laughs> so I, d I don't know what I'm doing there. Got like a little barracks, you know, where fresh soldiers be trained up, little training dummies. That's, that's supposed to be a shield. Ah, oh, there. Just just use your imagination there, folks. Yeah, work with what you got. If you come through here, there's another little gate here. We get to the more interior area of the city. Over here, this is the more immediate noticeable bit, I think, is the slums. And uh, there's a lot of housing. Now, these are all really small ones, and it looks a lot bigger from down on the ground. I mean, it's, it's like a maze. It's like a... It's like that labyrinth in that Greek myth or Greek legend with um, what's his face and the Minotaur. I can't remember his name. I I don't know a lot about Greek mythology. So uh, <laughs> it's a little dock so you get like little trade ships going to drop off the stuff and you know maybe Chavi peasant will be here and they'd be like, "I'll get these stuff to your trader," and they sell it on the stalls. And <laughs> uh, voices. Got like a little inn here. Again, unfurnished. Because, yeah. Apart from that, I decided to put a little something in there just because, well, I was going to furnish it, but I couldn't be bothered. There's so, like, yeah, little room down there. Main two rooms there. Another room there, and there's four in here. So, yeah, just small little rooms that maybe wandering traders would hire out for the night. And I don't know why I didn't point this out before, but the grass on the roofs, that's because, you know, back in these times, in these kind of climates, a lot of people would grow their own food. Maybe they wouldn't be able to feed themselves every day of the year on it. I mean, some days they'd go hungry. But, you know, it'd be enough just to, or just about enough to thrive on. So, even if they don't earn a lot of money, they can still feed themselves. Sort of. Uh, I don't know why I'm laughing at that. It's horrible. Can you imagine being in that situation? It's like a little docks here. This is I think this is actually where I started off the build, building these docks and a couple of houses here. It's like a little star house here. This is one that is furnished. Sadly, cause I'll, like I say, I originally did plan to furnish them all, but I just couldn't be bothered. Hill over hang here. Another thing I feel inclined to point out is a lot of the little designs, like you see these little point bits, very inspired by Jamsy Boy Minecraft because he's done one of these desert themed builds before. I mean, that's how I learned some of the techniques for this. Highly recommend you check out those videos because, like I said, just so many great techniques you can pick up off these. It's a little little cart design, which I'm pretty pleased of. I like I like how that came out. There's a uh, small little houses here. A lot of them kind of join together by beams over the roof, which would be awesome for park. To be honest, I think the slums over there would be awesome for parkour. 
Or maybe this whole city in general for Hunger Games or something. So yeah. Then you got onto like a little trade district over here. You got like a storage house where the merchants will trade all, uh, sh uh, store all the shizwas. Little blacksmiths. Some more houses for people that work here. A few more houses. Little dry dock. Yeah. It's where you know, new ships would be built. So just a little one here. And I'm just going to point out that that sail, never again am I doing that design. Those are so difficult to do. <laughs> Don't know why we're doing my voice then. So, uh, cool little way of making it look like things are tied down to use rails. I like how that looks. There's like a little carpenter's workshop. Uh, yeah. It's another little barracks thing, because this is like a little guard's outpost. Just a couple of beds in it. So, you know, if they're working a night shift and they need a bit of a rest halfway through, someone else takes over. There's no night shifts there. It's horrible. Never actually worked one myself, but I've got a good idea of how. Here's a little watchtower. I, I quite like how this looks as well. I just like the um, like little arrow slits and I mean just things like that using the stairs just to give it a bit more depth. Yeah. How's the board that has this river? Little sewer grate there. You see these stairs lead up to the walls with more cannons. So a bit of a crossfire zone down there if anyone's gonna attack. So little blacksmiths here. So, uh, yeah, just a little outdoorsy one. The little anvil design. Another one in Jamesy Boys Minecraft. Like I think I pointed out me latest let's build. Go check it out. Over here is where I'm most impressed with the. I mean, look at this. It's like a little coliseum with a couple of squidwoods that should be having at each other. Cut his head off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, some more middle to upper class houses. Different is, yeah. Got nicer gardens, they got flowers. They're actually growing wheat, proper crops. And a lot of them have like a second story little building. Little outbuilding. Led up to these by these outside stairs. Some other like uh, little greenhouses or stairways or whatever that is. I said, just check out other the people that do builds on YouTube, and you can pick up some great designs that you can adapt into your own build styles. Just what I've, like I say, what I've done with a lot of these kind of buildings, because these normally aren't my kind of forte. So there's a new word for you if you want to extend your vocabulary. So the aqueduct here. I wanted to put an aqueduct in, but to be honest, it's a surprising amount of work. So I just had to finish it off at like a water tower here. Which again, I'm pretty pleased with how it looks. It's something different. It just breaks up the whole, um, you know, housing kind of feel. There's another one there. Just the aqueduct going right over it. I've come up here, you got uh, it's a kind of small, rich trade district. I mean, I may add some more stalls up here. Because though I've finished with the build, it's just a matter of going here back and tweaking every now and again. This is a kind of a, a general store, you know, the guy who sell upper class kind of goods, like fancy jars and spices. And people go in, I, w I will take some of your fine spices. Do you, do you have any nutmeg? And the trader will go, what, what, what's nutmeg? What's nutmeg, governor? It's a bit, a bit cockney. <laughs> it's got a fishmonger's here. Now, this is something I did toy putting over there, but I thought, you know, there needs to be something kind of fishing related up here near the upper class kind of pier. You know, so maybe you get some rich people fishing off of it. I mean, maybe this is a good fishing spot. You know, they've got slaves and, you know, or whoever it is, maybe it's just really poor people living there and they cut the fish and then it's sold. It's another generic trading stall there. This video could take a while to upload, actually, because it's, it's going to be a fairly long one. Over is, uh, well, it's more of a grand kind of designs, kind of st style area. Hysteria. Hysteria. 
Haha. Um, this is if you can think of this is like a king's or lord's house, so you can't see it, but there's a, there's a kitchen over. I'll tell you what, should I just should I just go inside? Oh, stop here. There's like a little garden up here. Is the king's room in here? He's got a little desk there. The map. Which is, oh, I'm getting stuck. He's got a he's got a triple bed. Some chests down here, kind of like a big dining table in here, or maybe I'll invite a couple of diplomats around. And I'll have maybe some venison. There's a little kitchen. So maybe he's got a little servant that comes in, does food prep. I can't get out of the doors. Here we've got like a really big kind of barracks. I'm going to give you guys a little contest. Who can count all the beds? I'm going to point out these are symmetrical. Just quickly go around the bottom level. There's a, certainly a good potential for keeping people in there. And a little walkway on the upper level and a golden dome. The flag on it. Here's the next bit. This is, you know, this is why I wanted to build this on a like a two-tiered kind of level. So you got important people up here. This is like a palace. And, you know, the king had all his court and aides sit on the chair and say, "I have no time for such menial matters. I have important things to attend to." And you know, maybe you get a few people up here just want to see the king, but they're not important enough to like stand before him. You know, or her. Maybe it's a queen. Yeah, got a kind of little educational thing here. It's like it's like a, one small classroom. There's just a bit of space here that I thought needed taking up with something, and you know, education was something the upper class had access to. So it's it's small. We got a little temple next door, with actually no way up to the roof. But yeah, I'm gonna point out because people keep asking me, no, it is not a mosque, because you know I don't wanna fail at making a mosque and offend someone. So it's it's not a mosque. Got another guard tower and a little crematorium. Cause I was gonna do a graveyard yet again but inside the city it'd take up a lot of space, so just thinking practically this is probably what people would do in a big city. Cremation of the dead. So another wall back here, which uh actually has a bit more of a fancy walkway and there's a that wolf still there. That wolf has been there ever since I built this wall, which was probably about a month and a half ago. I've been working on this for a while. So, yeah, some more cannons up here. Another watchtower that leads down to the lower level walls. Some more upper class housing, 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 housing down here, which maybe these are the traders that run the stalls, or maybe these guys sponsor the games in the Colosseum. And again, some more little houses for the servants. I'm not really sure what these are, I just thought, yeah, beacon fires, they, they look awesome face. And uh, put another little one over there, near the jail, which is uh, cramped. So this is four beds in each compartment, and there's four of them, so 16 capacity. Alternatively, you can throw them into gladiatorial games, or use a guillotine. Sing! Doof! Sound effects little well design. Again, very inspired by Jamsy Boy Minecraft. Like I said, you definitely go check out his videos. There's a lot of really good ones. And you'll see quite a lot of influence in these builds that I've done. So, more cannons here, sort of. This is sort of like the main gatehouse. Because, you know, it's the only proper gatehouse. It's uh, got a standoff for the in progress build that means some friends are doing. Little massive testificate city. So get onto the ships and I think that's more or less everything to showcase. This is a small kind of ship design here. If you think about this more the lightly armed cannons set close to the water, hit and run raid kind of ships or scouts. You know, got captain's quarters, crew deck just down there. So you know, they'd all Sleep away. Maybe a couple up on deck. We've got the cannons, just in case they need to get out of a tough spot. 
I couldn't be bothered doing like a deployed one of them still, so I just did a sort of hoisted one there. And uh So I'm not sure what these cells are called. These ones are the ones that you get on the front of them. So But I'll put one of them in there because it, it just looked right. Got a me well I'd say this is more of a standard kind of ship, this. Or maybe you could say that the little one in there is a sort of scout ship that's a medium and this is standard kind of battleship. See on the broad side it's got seven, eight cannons. No, seven on the broad side. There's two up front. Got a sail. Little captain's cabin in there. The I'm not sure what this is called up here. It's the you know, the wheel bit. It's kind of a bit of a fail because the sails are in the way, so... Yeah, I'd have to have someone down there who's taking directions from someone off the front. It's a bit of a design flaw. But what are you going to do? It was a pain to get that. Yeah, as it is. This little storage room in here. And a uh, big group capacity down here. It's a bit annoying to navigate around. And I'm getting stuck on a chest. And now we get onto the monster that is the flagship. Now, uh, how many cannons has this one got on the broadside? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 on each side. And there's some over there. It's like a little rowing ship to get people on. It's too big for the docks. It's got two up front. It's like if they're chasing down someone. Give them get onto here. Which is a pretty cool little feature. Now uh captain's cabin there. It's the biggest one. It's even got like a little private viewing area for captain only off the back. And I, I, I can't get through doors today. Been spending too much time at McDonald's. <laughs> even though there's not a McDonald's for like twenty miles near where I live. Uh, I'm not showing you this. The, if you think about the flagship, it's important, so maybe have royalty on it. So you could think of this as like a royal room. So maybe this is like if the king or queen came on, or maybe it's some other form of royalty or important guy. A wheel fell off that cannon. <laughs> <laughs> They'd be in there. So not a private room. Down to the gun deck. Yep. Is there uh, a lot of cannons? And some little tables and shelves. And this is the second to last deck, crew deck. Again, I think this has a few more beds than on the other one. If anyone can count all uh, the correct amount of beds, I will give you a shout out. Count those amount of beds and comment it in the video and I'll give you a shout out in the next one. So, storage room down here. Just getting a bit sidetracked. So there's a challenge for you. Count the amount of beds down there. And I'll give you a shout out in the next video. It's so tempting. It's like a little thing to drop water. Which basically means the rich are drinking salt water. Which means they're probably all going to die. So One last thing actually. It's a kind of little underworld. If you think the poor live in the slums. This is poorer than poor. It's like you know. It's like the underbelly of society, the underworld. And I'm not on about that film with vampires. And before anyone gets any smart ideas, no, I'm not talking Twilight. God damn it. Can't mention vampires at all without anyone making that conclusion or drawing that conclusion. So, um, my ramblings aside, that is it. It's a pretty big city. It's a. Uh, certainly taken far too long for me to do. If you like this video and you want to see more, support my channel, drop a like down in the like area. Uh, hit that subscribe so you can be notified of my new videos that comes out. And it also gets me motivated to get off my bum and do a few more. So, I'll see you later. Sam Marsden out.